Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about just the general overall market in cryptocurrencies as well as the macroeconomic environment and what happened this past week and what's upcoming with the announcement of the inflation numbers coming in for April. So let's start off as usual with the cryptocurrency markets. We have Bitcoin trading at $28,935. It's down about 2.3% over the last seven days. Ethereum trading at $1,914. As we go down a little bit further on the rankings, we see that BNB coin is down 3% at $323. Cardano hanging in there at $0.38, cents, down 6.67% over the last seven days. Days Dogecoin, Dogecoin excuse me, is at 7 cents, down 4.69%. And Solana rounding out the top 10 currently trading at $22, down 3.45%. So cryptocurrencies have taken a little bit of a dip back the past seven days. If we go back and look at Bitcoin, we can see here that it's been ranging in that $27,000 to $30,000 range. It peaked up to $30,000 a couple of weeks ago, and now it's kind of dipped back down and is now kind of ranging in that $27,000 to $28,000 range. So Bitcoin kind of has been in this range for a little while now. So we still Still haven't seen any major leg up since it went to that $30,000 range. People are looking to see if it can get to that thirty-four dollars to $35,000 range, but we could potentially just range in this particular area for a while. Some are still predicting that we will go back down to the $20,000, maybe even below $20,000, so that still remains to be seen, but I think a lot of it is going to have to do with the macro environment as we still await to see what the Federal Reserve is going to do with regards to interest rates and if they're going to continue to keep hiking. So we'll get to that in a moment. Also, we're going to go into Pepe coin. Once again, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. Pepe, which has been the rocket ship meme coin over the past several weeks, has now been listed on Binance. And because of this news, Pepe continued to go on a meteoric rise over the past week. Binance is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. So it is a big deal if any coin gets listed on this cryptocurrency exchange. So they announced earlier this week that they will be listing both Pepe and Floki uh, cryptocurrencies. So since then, as you can see, Floki soared 57%. And Pepe rose another 7.7%, 7, 7, 7 pushing the frog-inspired tokens market capitalization across the $1 billion mark, which is pretty remarkable. But as we mentioned in our video a couple weeks ago, it is very important that you understand what is going on when it comes to meme coin trading. It can be very volatile, extremely volatile. There can be a lot of large swings up and a lot of large swings down. If you want to so-called gamble and put a little something into something like Pepe coin, as long as you're putting something in there that you're willing to potentially lose. Right now, gas fees are very high. And so when you're trying to trade some of these tokens, gas fees can definitely affect the price that you're paying overall for these tokens. So it's just very important that you're very careful when it comes to this type of trading. As you can see here, the mean coin mania hasn't slowed down as of yet and partly these things start to happen during a bear market when there's not really much going on we talked about bitcoin kind of ranging and it's not doing a lot of major movement so people are looking into other options to try to catch a potential rocket ship and as so far over the last month or so pepe definitely has been that coin for a lot of folks if we go back here to the pepe coin metrics on coin market cap you can see over the past week that it's had a nice rise up particularly since the binance listing announcement so you can see people who bought in in this range were able to definitely catch the rocket ship up to this point here and now it's kind of settling in in this range so we'll see what happens to pepe down the line but once again just be careful out there but good luck to all of the folks who have invested in pepe those who have already made a nice 
uh, bag off of Pepe. Just be very careful once again. Another coin that is trending right now is Sui coin. It is actually considered what they call an Ethereum killer. There's so many of these so-called Ethereum killers out there from Cardano to Solana, but it still remains to be seen if any of these will actually overtake Ethereum. Ethereum still holding at that number two slot right behind Bitcoin, but people are looking to find smart contract platforms that are going to provide more speed and less cost when it comes to transactions. As we know, Ethereum is still working on their upgrades, but it still can be pricey, especially if there's a lot of transactions happening on the blockchain. So something like SUI is potentially another blockchain, smart contract blockchain that could provide opportunities for people to create different types of projects on the layer one blockchain as it says here that redefines asset ownership so you can go here to sui.io to learn a little bit more about its scalability as you can see here it says there's even if the demand spikes the fees don't that happens on ethereum so this would be uh, a great option if this actually works out well in the, in the long term because definitely whenever there's a lot of transactions happening on the Ethereum blockchain, fees do happen to increase. So it can be fast enough for any application. As it says here, they use parallel processing and then you can have dynamic assets that you actually own on the blockchain. So we'll definitely keep an eye out to see what happens with SUI. But as I mentioned, it has been trending over the past week. And so it's already trading on, I believe, Binance and Kuku coin which are two of the larger cryptocurrency exchanges so that already is a big boost to the token now let's go over to what's happening in the macroeconomic landscape as many of you know this past week there was an FOMC meeting which is the Federal Open Market Committee and the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell announced a 25 basis point rate hike so this is now the 10th consecutive rate hike that the FOMC has announced. And what they're doing is trying to fight inflation. As all of us know, everything is getting more expensive, particularly you're seeing it in the grocery aisle. You're seeing it with car prices. You're seeing it, you know, in all different aspects of consumer spending. And so what's happening is that in order to get that inflation rate down a little bit, the Federal Reserve is raising the interest make rate, making it more expensive to borrow money and less more likely that people will restrict spending a little bit and then some of those prices could potentially go down. So we had another 25 basis point increase when we've had 50 and 75 basis point increases in 2022. So people are predicting that as we're starting to slow down that they will likely cut either the next meeting or the one after that. So as you can see here, if we look at the 2022 and 2023 rate hikes, the uh, level now that we're at is between is now at 5.25%. So that's extremely high. So now you're starting to see loans, particularly when it comes to mortgages and car loans and credit cards, those interest rates are going up. So if you're not unable to pay the money that you borrowed, then you're going to see that it's going to cost a lot more to not only borrow the money, but also to be able to pay back any debt. So it is definitely suggested that if you can to start working on lowering the amount of money that you owe for any higher interest rate loan. So as you can see here, pay down your high interest rate debt. High interest debt can not only cost you tons in interest the longer you carry it, but it can get in the way of hitting other financial goals. And when the Fed raises rates, you could see an increase in your interest rates. So it is important that you pay down your high interest rate debt if possible. As you can see here, high interest rate can not only cost you tons in interest the longer you carry it, but in the way of hitting other financial goals. So you want to make sure that you're trying to pay down those 
uh, debts as much as you can because APRs, which is the annual percentage rate, for example, on credit cards, will rise quick, quickly during this time as the Federal Reserve continues to raise these interest rates now at 5.25%. So that interest rate is going to be carried over to consumers because it's also going to be expensive for banks and other financial institutions and other large entities to be able to borrow money for whatever reason, whether it be to continue to run their business you're definitely going to see that carried over to the consumer. So it's just very important that we understand what's happening in the macroeconomic environment because it does affect the cryptocurrency and NFT market as well. Not only are we seeing a bear market in stocks, but we're also seeing a bear market in cryptocurrencies. We're seeing a bear market in NFTs. And a lot of this has to do with what has been happening with inflation. So we will definitely keep you posted as we see what happens with the inflation numbers coming next week. We are supposed to be getting a report next week to tell us where inflation is and what it was for April of 2023. Here is a chart to show you where inflation has been over the past year or so. As you can see here, we were as high as 9.1% in June of 2022. And that's when the Federal Reserve came in and started to raise the interest rates. And as you can see, we've been incrementally coming down and now we're down at 5 percent from March of 2023. So now we're waiting to get the numbers for April of 2023, and we should be having that announcement come out sometime this upcoming week. So that's something to definitely look out for. And also, we are still having some struggles in the United States, and Yellen, who's the Treasury Secretary, warns of an economic chaotic situation. If Congress does not raise the debt ceiling, the United States has accumulated a ton of debt. And if we are unable to continue to take on some debt and have a, there could, we could run into a possibility that there would be economic chaos and potential a steep economic downturn, as you can see here. And she reiterated this in her warning because the Treasury Department may run out of measures to pay its debt obligations by June. So in order to be able to have some more leeway to be able to repay those debt obligations, which go to many countries around the world that we owe, including China, surprise, surprise. So it's going to be important that Congress comes in and make the decision that they raise the debt ceiling we shall see if they actually do it, but it's something that the Secretary Treasury is highly suggesting, sec suggesting because if not, then there's a possibility that we could see even worsening economic uh, conditions in the short to mid term if this does not get changed immediately. So we will definitely keep you posted on what is happening, obviously in the cryptocurrency and NFT markets, but it's also important to understand what's going on in the broader landscape of economics. So we'll continue to keep you posted on that. So in the meantime, we hope you are doing well. We look forward to connecting with you on the network chain. Take care. Bye-bye.